Spider-Man No Way Home trailer just dropped today. Let's talk about it. And my friends, if you like videos just like these or just into talking about trailers, I recommend checking out this playlist I'm going to link up top. I really do appreciate you stopping by. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to get on the fun and enjoy more videos just like these. The Spider-Man No Way Home trailer ended up dropping today. A trailer was leaked just a few hours before, in fact, later that day, and I believe Sony ended up being forced to reveal the full trailer. What did I think of the trailer? Overall, I thought the trailer was actually really, really excellent. In fact, it was probably one of the favorite trailers I've seen this year. The biggest reason being the fact that this trailer does a really good job of showing us what this movie's about, what the stakes are like without giving too much detail and revealing to us everything about the movie so for example after watching this trailer tom holland who obviously plays peter parker aka spider-man his identity was revealed by mysterio i believe and far from home but anyways mysterio reveals his identity and now he's kind of paying the repercussions for that in his personal life with his relationships with his friends with mj with his aunt things aren't going very well so he confides in dr stephen strange to help him out and sort of make sure that everybody forgets that he's Peter Parker Spider-Man, but it doesn't go the way it was planned and things have dire consequences. The best line in this trailer is, comes from Stephen Strange and he says, be careful what you wish for, kid, which I thought was the best line in the trailer for what this whole entire movie will be about, which is Peter trying to undo the damage that he has done or wished himself upon. And the really good thing I enjoy about this trailer is, like I said, it doesn't reveal too much to us. For example, it, it kind of shines a little bit on Dr. Stephen Strange and the fact that he was told not to cast the spell. And it also doesn't tell us why it's winter in his house. That's the one really weird thing I noticed is that it was really, there was, there was snow in his house and I'm curious as to why. And I'm also wondering why he deliberately disobeyed the recommendation to not cast the spell. It's like, why? what was the motivation behind that does he have some ulterior motive plus it was cool seeing alfred molina as doc ock in this movie i'm not sure if that's playing into the rumors that have been circulating that toby mcguire and andrew garfield or fans have been throwing around that andrew garfield and toby mcguire are in this movie i don't know if that either supports or strays away from that claim for a second and feel free to correct me if i'm wrong on this but it looked like they de-aged alfred molina just a little bit then again i just watched the trailer like a minute ago and i was i only watched it once so my memory could be a little hazy in that regard. At the end of the day, this trailer got me really, really excited to see this movie come December, and I'm really excited to see what Peter does to cope and deal with this situation. How is it going to affect him as a character? How is he going to dwell into his own? Now, my friends, I ask you, what did you make of the Spider-Man No Way Home trailer? I'm also curious, do you think Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield will be in this movie? What do you think of Doc Ock being in the movie? Or also, do you think Stephen Strange is up to something nefarious? Whatever you think. Comment below, let me know. All right, my friends, so that'll do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more. Or check out my other playlist that'll link up somewhere around here and at the end of this video. Once again, this has been the Bankrupt Hippo YouTube channel. I've been Bryce, and until next time, have a great day.